administrators, Mr. Howell, Member Child School faculty, and to parents and friends, and to my mother who motivated me, motivated and helped me and molded me into the man that I stand before you tonight. As I stand before you today to render my presidential remarks, I find that it is only fitting that I start by congratulating you all on the milestone that you have achieved. However, you did not accomplish this great task alone, but rather by the sure grace of God and the family members that made you strive to achieve higher than you initially thought you could. As we carry out this commencement ceremony tonight, we engage in it with a heavy heart. The loss of our classmate, Jessica Alexander, is a tragedy, but we know that she is looking down watching over us. Class of 2011, we have an angel. As I stand back through these 12 seemingly long years, at least at the time, I pondered on what I would say to the most elite class that has ever walked the halls of a new and old Bamber Child School. As I contemplated, I concluded that this is only the beginning of the journey to come. For now, we are at crossroads. Some of us are going to elite secondary institutions like Georgia Tech, Auburn, University of Georgia, University of Arkansas, and some to the most prestigious military academy in the United States, West Point. Others of us are going to enter the workforce or join our nation's elite fighting forces. We all have a different path in life, but what's for certain for every one of us is that we are now entering to the real world, adulthood. Although some of us may be a bit apprehensive about journeying into this vast wilderness we, we call adulthood, let me assure you that we are armed with what we need. We have spent the last 12 or 13 years in preparation. Our educators, parents, and mentors have been superb in teaching us valuable lessons as well as catering to our intellectual needs. Though these last couple years have been challenging, we've managed to make some good memories with our fellow classmates and teachers. Our teachers left us with some really interesting saying like, do it baby, or hoorah, or even Jim and Nikki, and even freaking A. Although this moment is bittersweet, cherish the, moment, the memories that you have made, and don't look back. If you must, look back to gain inspiration. Look forward because your future is bright. As I close, it is only fitting that I thank you for allowing me to serve as your president. It has been one of the most challenging yet rewarding times in my life. Continue to strive for excellence, and I assure you, you, you attain it.